Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Lucas Monster back again with another news video. Before I do get in the news, I'd just like to say on the channel I'm doing a giveaway. At a thousand subscribers, I'm giving away this Arc Trooper three pack. But you do have to be subscribed to the channel to enter. And how that works is at a thousand subs, I'll make a giveaway video. And all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed and then comment on that video, and you will be entered to win. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And and one more thing before you get into the news. Uh, t today is actually Tuesday, and that's when I normally upload Ask Luke Ness Monster. So that video is actually getting pushed until tomorrow because of this news video. So if you guys were wondering, it is getting pushed until tomorrow. So first up in the news, there is an actual running change in the archive line Han Solo. And uh, there's actually color variation. So the first one uh, is like a lighter brown color for the jacket, and then the fixed version is a darker brown. So that is a running change. Um, I don't. I, I've actually never actually seen the lighter brown one before. I've only ever seen the darker brown, so I don't. I've never known this was actually a running change, but it is. So if you do find uh, either one, uh, they're both amazing figures, but uh, one is actually just lighter than the other one. So. Also, Black Series Phase Four Wave Three is showing up in Walgreens and in GameStops. So that is the wave with like Grief Karga and Moff Gideon. And you know all of that wave; those are all showing up in Game Stops now. So if you do want one of these figures and missed out on the pre-orders, go check your Walgreens and your Game Stops because they might have them in stock. And also, Archive Wave Three was online for Walmart.com, and those did ship out to customers who pre-ordered it. But they're actually showing up in stores now at Walmart. So if you do want the Archive Wave Three, they, those are showing up in Targets, but they're also showing up in Walmart's as well now. So I definitely want a Cody, and I might have to check Walmart to see if they have one because I did miss out on the pre-order. Backface on Instagram has some like insight for the Black Series and the Vintage Collection, and he has been posting some cryptic things for both of them. So first up is a Vintage Collection logo, and it says something old, something new, and something borrowed for 2021. And we don't really know what this means at all, except that there's probably going to be something old, something new, and something borrowed, I guess. But uh, take that as you will. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to see what it is. Um, I don't know how he knows personally what it is, but uh, Yak Face does get some insight in that. And um, yeah, I'm just excited to see what it all is. And then Yakface also posted this, which is an image of the Gaming Greats logo, but it said something borrowed on it. So uh, this was actually tagged with the, both the Black Series and the Vintage Collection on it. So uh, we don't really know what this means. It could be saying that the Vintage Collection is borrowing the Gaming Greats line, or the uh, Gaming Greats line is borrowing something from the Vintage Collection, like a figure or something like that. You know, something like that. I don't know. We, we don't really know, but it does have to do with the Gaming Greats line. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys actually think that is. And uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> Yak Face has been kind of cryptic lately, and I'm excited to see what it all turns out to be. And then another cryptic thing that Yak Face posted was something blue, and that's all it said. It was a picture of Star Wars Black Series, and it said something blue. Again, we don't know what this means. Uh, my guess is that it has to do something with like blue packaging, so my guess is maybe the Rise of Skywalker packaging, which is blue, but another guess is maybe something like the 501st at all, because their color is blue, so maybe a repack of the 501st Trooper. Honestly, I really don't know, and I'm kind of excited, because, um, yeah, I, I don't know, this is cryptic, and I'd love to see what the actual, like, reveals are. And we also have some rumors for the Black Series, the Vintage Collection, and the like new repack wave for the vintage collection as well so that latest wave is actually going to be a Hoth Luke a Emperor Palpatine from Reven Return of the Jedi I almost said Revenge of the Sith it is actually Return of the Jedi a Return of the Jedi Han Solo and last a Return of the Jedi Admiral Akbar. so that is the new repack wave of the vintage collection that was kind of rumored so yeah look forward to that um, I don't know I definitely would like to get another Palpatine in the vintage collection so I'm excited for that so there is a uh, few leaked vintage collection figures there is that Re Re Return of the Jedi uh, Palpatine that is a leaked figure but there is also a Queel and a IG-11 from the Mandalorian. So I'm really excited for those guys as well. Go with the rest of the Mandalorian figures. And um, yeah, I just can't wait. So now there are also four figures rumored for the Black Series. Two of them has been rumored in the past, and they were a Jedi training Luke and Leia from like the Rise of Skywalker flashback. But there's also two more, and uh, it is... And it is a Panda Baba and the other guy that was with him at the cantina. So those are the four rumored Black Series figures. And the rumor like, goes is that uh, there is like a rumored Rogue One repack wave. 
and that the uh, Panda Baba and the other guy will get put into this repack wave with like Jen Erso and all the other figures like in the Rogue One wave. So that's the rumor. I personally don't believe this though because uh, these are pretty uh, m like pretty well known from A New Hope and I don't think that they would repack them in the uh, Rogue One wave even though they were in it for a, a few minutes. Actually it was, it was like 30 seconds but um, I do think that they would put it in the New Hope line but I could be wrong. They could put it in the repack of the Rogue One wave which again is just a rumor as well. There's no conf confirmation about that yet. But and there's yeah. this droid from the Galaxy's Edge Target exclusive wave that is actually now on sale for 50% off. So I'm assuming this is like a per store thing. So I'm sure not every store will have it. But if you do want this figure, go check your Target because they might have it on sale. And then last but not least, the uh, Mandalorian build-up pack for the Vintage Collection from Walmart is actually canceling all their pre-orders. So not all of them, a few people are getting them, but most of them are getting canceled, unfortunately. So if you did pre-order it from Walmart, which I believe it was a Walmart exclusive, uh, they are canceling it, so I'm very sorry about that. Hopefully that they actually restock it and then re refulfill your pre-orders, but um, as of right now, there's no confirmation for any of that. And uh, hopefully Hasbro finds a way to re-release this, because it does really suck that they're canceling so many pre-orders. So yeah, that is all the news we have for today, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, hit that like button, and subscribe if you're new to the channel, so you can get in that giveaway. And I'll see you guys in the next video.